February 22, 1935, Max Gordon opens up a club on 7th Avenue in New York called the Village Vanguard. Since 1957, over 100 jazz albums have been recorded at the venue, starting off with the great Sonny Rollins. Max Gordon ran the club until his death in 1989. His wife took over, and she still runs the club today. On November 3rd, 2011, Lorraine Gordon called in and left us a message with a uh, special uh, story, a few little details about her life that she wanted to share. So here's Lorraine's phone message. Hello, I'm Lorraine Gordon, and I'm calling from the Village Vanguard in New York City. And uh, I'm sure it's well known as is now 76 years old in the same location. Max Gordon opened it in 1934. My husband was 35, so that makes it 76 years old. And unfortunately, he left us, but he left it in my hands, and so I do keep it running, and I'm very proud of it. And everybody else loves it, and they come from all over the world. So um, it's a very happy experience for me to book it and to run it and to take good care of it. But I've had a long life in jazz, and uh, I have to say my first husband was Blue Note Records, Alfred Lyon, and through him I had the good fortune of meeting Thelonious Monk. And because of that, we did the first great recordings of Thelonious on Blue Note Records. And he was not even known then. Well, today he's known as the great genius. I always knew he was. And he did play here, as I booked him here, many, many years ago. However, that's just a little chapter in my life. And the main part is the Vanguard, which is hale and hearty and wonderful and has great talent. And people come from all over the world. And I love taking care of it. And I work sometimes morning, noon, and night, a few shifts. But uh, it deserves a lot of care because we want it to stay here forever. And it's been a pleasure talking to you all. And whenever you are in New York, do come on down. Those 15 stairs are down and 15 stairs going up. But it's good exercise. So come and we look forward to seeing everybody at this illustrious club. Bye now.